okay, maybe I didn't win, but that still felt awesome getting back out there. Yeah, couldn't agree more. Okay, this mystery better live up to all the hype. Here I come, mystery monster. Porcaria é essa? Nossa. Owner is going to be so happy to see you. Wait, let me get this straight. This quest was just to track down a stupid llama? It's not just a stupid llama. It's uh it's important, okay? It's apparently like a uh, treasure sniffing llama or uh it's important, okay? Please, just trust me. We just need to bring her back to her owner. It doesn't need to be like a thing. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. If you say it's important, then I trust you. Yeah? Yeah. Now, how about we get you out of here, huh? Come here, llama. Come on, come on. That's what you get for wearing that dork armor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll just have to craft a new set. Dang. Let's get this thing. Don't let it get away. Just grab the... Oh, gross. Come on. Let's get after that armor wrecking thing. Uh, hang on, it's super dark down there. We should make a torch. Here, llama, llama, llama. Where'd you go? After you. Mayor Jesse told you I'm not the mayor. I'm the leader and hero in residence. I know, I know. It's just that you do a lot of paperwork and like town running things. Call a shovel a shovel. Am I right? How the heck did you get up there? Who knows, but it's coming down now. Nossa, olha que lugar maneiro. Ah, get out of the way. I was looking at that. What's that? Only one way to find out. What was that creepy whisper? Ah, I didn't hear anything. Sort of glove or gauntlet? Looks like it's made out of prismarine. A prismarine? But you only find that at the bottom of the ocean. Thing. I don't know. I, I don't know. It, it, it seems. 
seems like it's not hurting you, and that's good. It looks kinda... Okay, actually it looks really cool. Uh, which I know might not be what you want to hear right now. It's not hurting me, but it keeps making these weird whispers. Uh, I haven't heard anything. Well, uh, here. I'll help you take it off. Okay. Ow. Wow. Stop. That thing is really stuck. I just can't shake this feeling that... Maybe you were meant to find that gauntlet. Like, maybe it was your destiny or something. I hope it's not like a curse. That's usually what leaves things stuck to you, right? Yeah, until you die. Which isn't what's happening here. I hope. Uh-oh, get off the pyramid, quick! Que que é isso, meu? Now what the heck is that thing? It's like a huge mouth in the ground? Some sort of heck mouth? Sure, yeah, heck mouth. I I don't think I can see the bottom. Ugh, gives me the willies. And what's that sound coming from down there? Yep. Wow, that is bottomless. Well, we, we can't just leave something like this exposed. We, we should cover it up. Yeah, agreed. What is that? Not sure, but I'm getting a bad feeling that it's the actual way we're going to fix this. On second thought, let's talk about it anywhere but here. Not getting out the way we came, though. There, come on. So close to Beacon Town. Here, uh, maybe you could leave a warning or something. Straight to the point. I like it. Okay, then. <clears throat> what do we do about all this? Well, it's all made of prismarine, right? And you only find that in, like, monuments and stuff at the bottom of the ocean. There's a treasure hunter in Beacon Town named Jack. Kind of a legend. He knows everything about prismarine, exploring the ocean. Because we definitely can't have that happening again. That was... That was really bad. And you trust this guy? Yeah. I mean, I never met him before, but I've heard a lot of good things. And I'll take you to Jack's shop as soon as I'm back. But first, I really need to deal with this llama. Okay. Come on, you. Gotta get you home. We have to do something about that... that heck mouth. Well, we already did. It's totally sealed up. You did the sign. Can't we talk about this after I bring her back? Why is that llama so important to you? <sighs> you know my sword? Gold one, with all the enchantments? Miss Butter? Yeah, I... I... kinda got tricked... by this person named Stella. Said she just wanted to put it on display for a little while, and... now she won't give it back until I do dumb quests like this for her. <clears throat> it's... uh... It's been not great. Hoping this is the end of it. 
Petro, why didn't you tell me about this? You haven't exactly been around much. Didn't want to bother you with it. So, yeah, her, her name's Stella, and she's kind of obsessed with treasure. She says this is her treasure-sniffing llama, or... She runs a place called Champion City. Wait, like, Champion City right over there? I had no idea their leader was like that. Yeah, she's ambitious. And she's willing to do anything to get her way. Bullying, lying, cheating. Without my sword, I just really need to get it back. Just hope Stella actually gives it back this time. I can smell a bully from a mile away, Petra, and I don't let bullies go being smelled on my watch. <laughs> You're one of the good ones, Jesse. Thanks. Come on. Can't wait to meet this Stella myself. Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. Then, freshly rearmed, we'll come back, sort out that heck mouth, and get this thing off my hand. Vamos lá entregar essa llama. Por enquanto, tá meio morno, mas tá muito no começo, né? Quem sabe melhor, hein? One of those apartments up there is exactly the same. Stella is strict about how things look here. Wow, this is super impressive. Good layout, great colors. If you're into that sort of thing. What? Come on, we're almost there. It's like she doesn't want to go see Stella. I kind of know how she feels. I just really need this to go well. And with Stella, well, it doesn't, most times. Hey, that's why you've got me, remember? We're a team. We will take care of this no problem. Sure hope you're right. Anyway, Stella usually has her office hours in the center of the courtyard. Well, I hope she's ready for an appointment with Jesse and Petra. Eu fico me perguntando se todas essas coisas que estão construídas aqui dá para construir no jogo do Minecraft. Stella person sure likes her llamas. You might say she likes them better than people. E provavelmente dá, porque eu já vi tanta coisa sendo construída no Minecraft, coisas impressionantes, réplica da Millennium Falcon do Guerra nas Estrelas e, e nossa, muita coisa mesmo. Wow, that is a classy mineshaft entrance. Didn't know they could look that nice. Ha, huh, yeah. Nothing's allowed in Champion City that doesn't look nice. Stella makes sure of it. Can't believe Stella built this whole city. Yeah, but it's all fake. Made by people she's tricked into doing it. I'm not even sure she even remembers how to build anymore. Agora é impressionante você imaginar que uma pessoa tem não só a criatividade, mas a paciência para construir isso aqui, né? Porque acredito que tudo isso que está construído aqui, como eu falei, acho que dá, acho que dá para fazer no Minecraft também. Hey, the llama doing okay? Hard to tell. She seems really nervous. We should probably get her to Stella as soon as you're done looking around. Curioso, não sei se vocês estão percebendo, mas para mim tá acontecendo isso no jogo, tá dando uns uns flashes na tela. Wow, even the flowers are organized. Yeah, and see the gardeners working on them? They all owe her stuff too. Everyone in town owes Stella something. I think that's where she got most of the materials to build Champion City in the first place. Lots of little trades all add up after a while. Wait, the whole town? How? Yep. She's always finding little reasons that people's trades aren't enough. Making up new rules. Well, your sword is one trade Stella won't be getting out of. I'm gonna make sure of it. Nice day. 
Nossa, uma cidade de escravos. Uma cidade de pessoas endividadas. Nice technique. Vou tentar mais uma vez só. About that weather, huh? One minute it's beautiful, the next, no, not a weather fan. Fine, jerk. No shoving now. We're not beacon towners. <laughs> You've probably put this together right now, but Stella's pretty fond of herself. I would play to her ego. Ah, well that is a cute. Tira proveito do ego, do ego, velho, do ego da Stella. Beleza. Podemos fazer isso. Oh, she matches your My darling, you came home. You came back. Uh, Rodrigo, could you bring Luna home, please? A Lima não ficou satisfeita. Good girl. Stella. Oh, look who it is. Jesse, leader of Beacon Town and my sworn rival. I've never met her before, right? No. Our rivalry, Beacon Town versus Champion City. Surely you think about it as much as I do. Oh boy. Yes, that's right, my rival. I'm finally here to meet face to face. Yeah, that's what I thought. Ah, I love the glove, by the way. Absolutely, darling. You wouldn't be interested in trading, would you? Got some fine puppies here. All free range, of course. That's not why we're here, Stella. We have other business. Oh, too bad. They're very cute puppies. And you Loss. know, I heard you need new pets, so. Okay, hold it. Oh, Petra, you're here too. I almost thought Luna just came back on her own. What do I owe you? A puppy? No, that wasn't... A diamond, maybe? No, I... An emerald? <laughs> Don't push too hard now. Don't make me get tough here, Stella. You know what Petra wants. We're not leaving without that sword. Wait, is this about... Oh, Petra? Oh, sweetie, no. I was very clear. I make trades for treasures. I think I'm all done here. You said you just wanted to display it. I thought I could still use it. Oh, no, honey, no. <laughs> you wanted to become my champion. You came to me, remember? In exchange, you got to live here instead of Beacon Town. Isn't that nice? Oh. No, was that supposed to be a secret? <laughs> oh dear, Petra, sweetie. Oh, we are going to talk about this later, Petra. Uh, I know. Well, I think it's about time I go back to my treasure hall, Jesse. By the way, way nicer than yours. Do you two know the way out? Oh, what am I saying? Of course Petra does. If you ever want a place in Champion City, just ask. <laughs> like I said, she's the worst. I'm not letting her get away with this. We're getting even. Hey, I'll just settle for getting my sword back. I just don't know how we're gonna do that. Stella's treasure room is right there. But I've got a bad feeling about those bodyguards of hers. Could probably sneak in through the puppy kennel, but that's a lot of barking puppies. There's got to be a way.
I think we can handle sneaking through some puppies. Let's stealth it up. Sounds good to me. Ah, olha que interessante. Aparece aquela mensagem no topo da tela quando uma escolha significativa altera a história. Legal. Ainda bem que eu tinha dois ossos. This is Stella's treasure room? Yeah. Trophy heads, gold pants, sponge blocks, a diamond hoe? Yep, all bought from other people. Half of them still have the name tags of other people on them. Okay, now I'm just getting mad. Being a hero and being cool is more than just having a room full of treasure. Especially treasure you got from other people. Not letting her keep mine, though. It must be in here somewhere. Listen, about what Stella said before, about being Champion City's hero in residence, it's really no big deal. It's, you know, nothing. But what about Beacon Town? It's your home. You can't just leave it behind. It's never felt like my home, though. Beacon Town is your place. Ugh! No matter what happens, no matter how much I do, you're the big hero. You probably don't even remember what it's like adventuring out there, scrounging for resources. You were on time today. That was great. Uh, but it's hard to ignore that none of my friends are ever around anymore. Do you know how it feels to show up for quest after quest and just hearing, Oh man, I'm sorry, next time, next time. Come on, Petra, do you really think that's fair? We have lives. I have a whole town depending on me. Ah, uh, no, it wasn't. You might have a point. No! Where'd it go? Where'd she put it? You're sure it was here? Shh, check it out. That's right, it's Patra, armed with her mighty sword, Miss Butter. This is one of the greatest things I've ever seen. By her side is her best friend, the greatest hero in the world, Jesse. Together, they can take on... Oh, hi! Hello! Uh, you... you should not be here. This... this is, um... Uh, hmm, this is incredibly awkward. I gotta tell you, Stella, I'm actually a little flattered here. Didn't know you thought so highly of me. Uh, no. No, I, I was being sarcastic because I hate you. You can have your dumb sword back. Let's just pretend this whole thing never happened and I will let you go. Uh -huh. I won't forget this, Jesse. History will remember this as an important day in our rivalry. That's right, the day I reclaim the upper hand. Curse you, Jesse! Caraca! Classic rival. Consegui de volta só usando o ego dela. 